Well, YouTube, if you need a request for this barn, love the barn. A lot of people love this barn. I do too. I wish I didn't have to take it down, but I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm guessing the barn was built in about 1937, is what I can tell from when we remodeled the house. Um, the house is no longer here. We moved that to a, or somebody bought it, or didn't buy it, I actually gave it away, and they moved it to a, a city about 15, or a town about 15 miles away. But uh, I found uh, things when they were remodeling like newspaper from about 1937, and uh, kind of a clue uh, when it was built. My mom thought it was probably about then too. Uh, she wasn't around this area, but uh, I don't know. Got different shots of the barn here. As you can see we've been taking siding off and we've been using it on projects in the house and uh, other projects. My wife makes uh, these uh, um, measuring boards for kids as they grow. She's been giving those away. With those, with the lumber or with the uh, siding. There's another shot coming up here soon. It's a beautiful barn, or it was a beautiful barn at one time. I guess it still could be, but the plans are to dismantle it and then uh, copy some of the design and to possibly use some of the wood over again. Coming up is going to be uh, a close-up of uh, the construction of it. Right here we're looking at the head on into the uh, uh, the area where I took some uh, of the sheathing boards, the roof sheathing off. As you can kind of see there, there is uh, uh, rafters and then there are smaller rafters. And if you look at each one of those spots, there's two feet. And so between the large supporting rafters, there is eight feet of span. But uh, as you know, a Gothic or round arch like that does provide a lot of strength. If you look here, there's four laminations of the rafters. If I were to guess, these rafters were probably made out of 1x10s or 1x12s. In a later shot, it kind of shows the side uh, of the how the rafter was kind of built. And I know that they had to have cut these things on a curve. Not sure if they were done at the job site or done ahead of time at the lumber yard. There again, four laminations nailed together of 1x. Like I said, 1x10s, one 1x12, one something like that. You can see the rot from the years of use and abuse, I guess. Looking here, I guess my next shot here would be uh, looking, well, I guess I'm not quite there yet. Sorry. Uh, in the background, you can see remnants of an old storage bin for oats. Cedar Shake Shingles. There we go. Uh, there, it's kind of peculiar. There's two uh, two foot pieces of one by ten, I believe, for the sheathing. And it looks like those old timers definitely saved money by using whatever they had. Doesn't matter. You didn't see it anyway. It's under the shingles, but now it kind of shows up. It's kind of cool. The construction below is out of 2x6 lumber, and you can kind of see where later on it was uh, remodeled to do hogs. I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I would have left it the way it was. Here you can see rafter tails are 
nail down to the rafter, a little later shot there, but also you can see how that uh, outer laminations were notched out for the 2x4 that fit into the uh, rafter, the main rafter. And then here you can actually see that that particular, uh, not, the, not the main rafters, but the sub rafters were uh, a lamination also. It looked like a 1x3, and those were nailed together also. And I think they're both nailed together, just at the 2x4 spot. And then the other nails you see are the, what the sheeting is nailed to, nail holes. There's, a, there's the notch again, a little closer view. And if you look, you can see the straight grain of the main rafter there. And you can kind of see uh, they started in with another uh, uh, board next to it. That will show up on the next uh, one of the next clips here. Here you can see again uh, the uh, rot and stuff that's taken place over the years. The diagonal bracing for the walls, the uh, corners of the uh, uh, siding here. It was a Dutch lap siding. Here you can see how the all the rafter tails kind of come together. All nice in a row, lined up. These old timers did a wonderful job of carpentry work. They were absolutely amazing craftsmen. I'm not sure, I'm guessing this was probably done from a plan, but Gothic structure is really solid. Here's a shot from the back end of the barn. Here's the access to the back of the barn. I'm guessing this is where you would actually take and throw your hay down or even put your hay up into, but uh, I'm guessing the front of the barn was used back in the old days. I remember as a kid, uh, the last time we used this barn was for storage upstairs where we put straw up. We never used the straw out of there, and I really kicked myself for not getting that straw out of there sooner, even as a child. wish we could have gotten it out of there. My dad got sick, and and uh, just never got back at it. Okay, right here, it shows again from the inside of the barn. You can kind of see uh, uh, how the, the straight part of the board and then the outside curve was actually cut. Uh, it must have had to have been with a bandsaw. Had to have been. There's my door hinges kind of in the way there. Definitely going to save the door hinges. You see the holes in the roof, light coming through there. And if you look up above here, here's a kind of a shot of, a, I think I, this is where I'm actually filming the pulley. There's the, yeah, you see my finger there. The pulley um, is left in there. That's something I'm definitely going to save. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the system that brought the hay into the barn. I'm thinking they had some kind of a, uh, uh, it was definitely used ropes, and they had some kind of a system that would uh, help you uh, uh, use a block and tackle to get uh, bunches of hay up into the barn. I'm definitely going to save that outfit, and there is a rail across it that slides on. Kind of in the bottom there, you can see the uh, um, <laughs> the door track, but also the back of the door. Also, I should have pointed out to the front door. There are a couple of uh, hook and latch, hook and eyes up there that let the door come open. Then point out the uh, hinges on the front of that. The, those are pretty cool. If you look at, go back and look at the front of the barn, if you can see them. I guess I should have uh, taken a little more of a close up of that. There's barn siding. Definitely going to be taking that up. Here's the track I was getting to here. Going to keep that. Things are really falling apart on me. Falling apart on the poor old barn. You can see a lot of rot right now. Yet there's a lot of good lumber in there. Yet used lumber. 
you just can't get stuff like that anymore. Or maybe you should be happy you can't. Right here is part of the uh, lightning rod system. That was the glass. I don't know if it was an insulator or what it was. I'm thinking it had to have been an insulator of some sort. I don't quite understand the whole lightning, lightning, lightning concept or the lightning arrestor concept. But uh, I know that they try to bleed the energy off into uh, cables that go to ground and it's supposed to protect your barn from, uh, well, your building from burning up or catching fire. Or you or you getting electrocuted, I guess. Next video, I believe, or the clip is going to be about the corners of the barn. These corners, these little uh, caps, end caps are really cool. I used them in a project in my, I think I've mentioned that before, maybe, uh, in my laundry room. We took a lot of those off and then we used them in our project and it really turned out cool. We left some of the, uh, I'm sure, lead paint. Um, uh, actually, I took a, uh, I think I did take a wire brush to it to try to get that stuff off of there. But if you look here, too, in the corner, you can see some of that braided copper wire that was actually hooked up to the track. Oh, my fingers are right again. <clears throat> to keep the track uh, grounded during an electrical storm. Thought of everything. Yeah, I'm going to show a little bit of, uh, you know, that's where the actual uh, wire where it went down to. Like I said, that wire was, or I had maybe mentioned it, but the wire was stolen from us years ago. <clears throat> I think we kind of knew who it was, but, uh, you know, you don't rock the boat. There we go. Here's the uh, cat back at it here. I had to kind of edit the audio here a little bit. We're running out of time, and... Uh, the, the uh, video is going to stop, but I'm just going to point out the uh, foundation is pretty in tough shape, as you can see by where the cat is at. But uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to add. But hey, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you like this video and give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye. If you are liking these videos, please subscribe to my grandpa's channel. Hit the subscribe button right here. I think it's here. Oh well, thank you.